Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Farisa Khan. Today I am going to share past paper of Genco test for junior engineer which were conducted by NTS. So we will start by the MCQs. The first MCQ was the vertex is also called the node. So you can see here are the V0, V1, V3, V2 and there are the vertexes and that are also said to be the nodes. So link between these vertexes are said to be the edges. You can observe by these diagram the edges and the nodes are said to be the vertexes. So we can also say the vertexes are also the nodes. Come towards to question number 2 that is when the current in the light bulb decreases by 2% its power decreases by how much? So let's discuss over here the uh, formula for the power is P is equals to I square R. Let's suppose take a value, initial value. We are taking initial value that is 100. And the final value obvious there will be the 98 and we have the power for the initial and the final r p is equals to i square r so i is 100 over here 100 square multiply by r that will be the power initial P I N and P final will be ninety eight square into R. So we have to put these values by taking formula for the difference and decreasing of the power that is equals to P initial minus P final and that is divided by P initial. We have to put these values 100 Multiply by R minus 98 multiply by R divided by the initial value that is obvious 100 multiply by R and giving the square all of the I values. So after calculating you will get the answer that will be equal to 4 and that is the option A. So the answer is A. Moving forward to the question number 3 that is what are the transformers parts? Basically they have given two different transformer parts primary coil and secondary coil. They are asking the third primary part. So the third main part of transformer is the core. So the transformer core is a static device that transmits power from one source to another source through the electromagnetic induction. Primary is at the left side and at the right side there will be the secondary core is in between. The transformer has three main parts. Although they have other parts as well as the primary source but the primary and the basic essential parts are these three. Moving towards the question number 4 that is electric lines of force about negative point charge R. So using the concept about the electric lines, the electric lines of force always originate from positive to negative terminal charge. So taking these concepts we are going to able answer about the electric lines by these formula uh, op options. So you can see circular is not circular, clockwise is also not. So inwards radical is the answer. Answer is C. 
here comes the question number five the semi control power switch is called so obviously there will be the thyristor because in thyristor there is a third terminal known as a gate and it is used for to control on and off the device in diode we are using the two terminals anode and cathode and amplifier is for the amplification process so obviously there will be the answer a that is a thyristor question number 6 com comes over here that is one method of turning off of thyristor is so uh, we have to select these uh, two options over here force commutation and the reverse force commutation and the reverse there are basically two different turning off methods of thyristor natural commutation and the force commutation so the answer is a force commutation obviously seventh question were over there that were the protection relay used are so the overcurrent relaying is the simplest and cheapest type of protection used for protection of lines in the transformers, generators and motors. So the answer is instantaneous and time overcurrent. Moving to the question number 8. Current transformer is used with protection device for measuring. Answer is current. Obviously a current transformer is a type of transformer that is used to measure AC current. The ninth question came for the which is not part of a steam turbine. So we have three different options over here. By the diagram, we will able to look over here the steam turbine that are the question at they are the type portion 25 and 23 represents here the two portion two options of the economizer and the precipitators uh, are there. So, obvious there will be not part of a steam turbine is the option A. Question number 10 uh, going to ask diode operation voltage and that is obvious 0.7 voltage for the silicon diode that is starts conducting from 0.7 volts to onwards that will increase. So, that's all for our today's video so thank you for your uh, watching videos wish you best of luck for your future click on subscribe button right below please like subscribe and share thank you so much